So it's in our cells and it's in the air we breathe. Consciousness, the same thing that makes you or I think. So what do you think of? I'm sure you've heard this or you've used this in a sentence. What do you think of my painting, this poem I've created, this activity that I've put all of my time and my energy into? Seeking someone else's opinion. You see, the thing is, when it comes to you choosing what you want to wear or choosing how you want to make something, is if it matches your frequency, your base core, if you feel a direct reflection in what you've put your time into as to how it makes you feel, then it's actually perfect. You don't actually need anyone else's opinion, suggestions, or ideas, or judgments in anything that you do. If they have an opinion, then maybe they should actually pick up the skill themselves and do the art or do whatever it is that they've got the opinion towards and watch, just watch as how different it will be compared to your own artistry, your own product, your own reflection of whatever it is that you're putting your time and energy into, whether it be your makeup, whether it be how you dress, whether it be how you look, absolutely anything nothing's off limits and you're gonna find out during the rest of this video okay so why are people gonna be doing something that you're doing differently okay so here's why anything you do create or how you behave is gonna be a direct reflection of your own energy output your own consciousness okay okay so let's make an example did you know that two people can have the exact same experience and both look at it in different ways Let's take pain for example, okay, whether it be falling off of your bike, whiplash in a car accident, tripping over as a kid, or skimming the skin off of your elbows or knees, no matter what it is, back pain, you name it. Depending on the energy signature, how somebody's possibly optimistic or possibly pessimistic, okay, these two types of people are going to lean on a certain type of thinking, whether it be negative or positive. And if you've got a negative person and a positive person experiencing the same pain, you're going to be shocked as to what could happen. Okay. So take, for example, let's call Nancy and Drew. Okay. Nancy and Drew, they both experience the same pain. Maybe they're both out skateboarding and they hit their shins with the skateboard. Really, really hurts. But Nancy, goes back all into her memories, all that memory, all that emotion, all that feeling is triggered by this pain stimulation. And she goes through all of her memories and she sees how she's reacted to all of the pain in her life in a negative way. She just gives up straight away because she's fearful of feeling that pain again. And then she just throws away the skill and doesn't do it again. She just, she just leaves it on the side. And then you've got Drew, okay. Drew, he falls over, he gets straight back up. He doesn't care. Compared to his last pain, his last incident, that was nothing, right? <laughs> and he has memories of getting up after falling and failing and actually landing the trick the second time around. So actually, when he falls over, he's actually kind of pushed forward. He, he wants to be failing again. He's looking forward to failure. He's encouraged with his failure in order to succeed in whatever endeavor that he's doing at that present point of time. So Drew and Nancy, what happens next? What happens the next day? Well, Nancy gets up, she stares at a skateboard, she doesn't go on it. Drew on the other hand gets up, he hasn't even put it down yet, he stayed up the entire night practicing. He even stayed over his friend's house and took them out with him and started practicing and now he can land that trick. Okay, so now based upon the experiences of somebody's past, they could use that as an energy signature, a way of being, an emotional state of being, which can deter them from doing something properly or can encourage them into making better judgments, better reasoning skills and as to why to do something better the next time around. And so people often lean towards their energy signature. Now people actually do the exact same thing when it comes to trying to figure out what they're seeing in their environment, okay? What they're seeing happen play out in front of them. Say for example, a couple are having an argument right in front of them, right? Right in front of all these people, they're having an argument, they're fighting it out, they're going rounds, okay? They're shouting abuse and swearing and whatnot, but you can't 100% hear what they're saying and you don't know their background or their past. 
But there will always be someone in the crowd that's trying to write the script. They're trying to figure out based upon their own past experiences as to why it is that she's swearing at him. Maybe they're cheating, whatnot. They're just going through everything they think they know. Uh, they think they know. Problem. The reason why this is an issue is because they're going off of programming again. Maybe they watch The Real Housewives of New Jersey where all they do is fight and argue. Maybe they watch some sort of reality programming where the actors in the program cheat on each other and abuse and fight and all of that experience of watching this programming is actually making them write the script in that present moment as they're watching these two deal, as they're watching these two fight in front of them, you know, their arguments. So straight off the bat you're getting people watching these two arguments and they're writing the scripts, they're judging them, they're reinforcing their opinions and what they think based upon what they think they know off of what they've heard on TV and in third person conversations. It can get really, really confusing. So when it comes to people's opinions and their judgments and what they think, it literally has nothing to do with you. And that being said, when you realize this, you really, really couldn't care less. So I'm Ryan JC, this is gonna be about do it on opinions other people's judgments, you know, what they think. It's all coming off of what they've been programmed by TV, media, word of mouth, even anxiety, you know, anxiety. What you want to wear, when you want to go out, you want to wear a certain thing, but you're thinking, mm, maybe I shouldn't. Last time I wore this, all these people said all these things. They said I looked whorish. They said I looked like I was showing too much skin or maybe with the guy's side or view, they, they all thought that maybe it was too tight, they started laughing at me, or maybe it was too baggy and it showed how skinny I was. And apparently that's bad, because I'm supposed to stack up to a male physique that you see on magazines and whatnot. Okay. These are all judgments and opinions based upon what people think are healthy. Okay. You can be as muscly and as cut and ripped as you want. You're not going to be healthy if you're putting in really, really bad foods. Now that's an entirely different topic, but again, based upon the programming of what people think is acceptable in society will suggest upon a certain outcome, and it's often based in fear. People don't want to feel the projection of people's emotions as they doubt them or criticize them or just get really angry and upset with their choice of what they want to express, whether it be what they wear or how they do their music videos, how they do their YouTube videos. No matter what it is, no matter what expression it is, people are always going to have an opinion and people are always going to subconsciously try to figure out what it is that they're seeing right in front of their face because they're not conscious of it. They do it automatically, they've been doing it for years and they're probably not going to stop until they become self-aware as to how or why they believe or want to believe that their opinions and their thoughts are apparently better than the truth. Why? Why would you discredit the truth for something that you want to believe? Why is your belief system, why is your opinion of something so important to you to try to influence the suggestions of someone else who actually knows what they're talking about? Does it frighten you? Does it freak you out? Does it confuse you? Does it suggest that maybe if their opinion's correct, because it's not an opinion, that maybe yours is wrong, and if yours is wrong, then does it make you feel bad? Does it make you feel inadequate with yourself or whatever it is that you've been taught to believe? You really need to start living your life through experience and not through what other people have said. That is where the trap is. That is where people start to think, oh, my opinion, don't fall under that. Just live your life through experiences. Keep an open mind. Do not judge. Do not criticize. Do not enforce your opinion on something that you have not done. If you want to do that, or you feel yourself wanting to do something similar to that, then use that as a positive thing to actually endeavor a new hmm, occupation, something that takes up your time. If you see someone who's doing a painting that you feel isn't quite right, pick up a paintbrush. Use it as a positive attribute towards your own thinking and start painting instead. If you listen to music and it doesn't quite feel like it's done properly, then Pick up a microphone, start taking singing lessons, and then pursue a 
your singing career instead. You know, use this emotion as a positive driving force within your life rather than a negative thing where you just spread out your opinions and you don't act on them. It could actually be a really powerful thing if you pay attention. So I'm Ryan JC, this is going to be about do it on opinions and thinking and judgments in general and I'll speak to you guys pretty soon.